Hey everybody, it's Chad from Six Blog. I'm Stick, and today I want to do an updated video on my Diddy bag. Now, some of you may remember, uh, maybe about a year ago or so, um, I did a video on my Diddy bag, and I want to say that the total weight of everything in there came in around the 16 to 17 ounce mark. So, uh, depending on what kind of hiker you are, um, at the time I I felt that it was fine, but uh, since then, um, as many of you know, I've made some changes in my hiking style and in the uh, actual weight that I carry. And I've done that by pouring things down, carrying things that I don't need, and uh, you know, just making good decisions about what I carry when I go on a backpacking trip. Um, so naturally, my Diddy bag wasn't left out of those uh, decisions. And uh, since then, I've done a lot of changes to my Diddy bag. And even the way it is sitting today, there's still some things that vary about it. I will say that uh, depending on the length of the trip, it may look one way. Depending on how many people are with me, as in uh, if my wife or my son comes with me, it may look a different way. Not really sure, you know, just what kind of trip that I'm taking. Is it something that I'm focusing on, uh, you know, super ultra light, or is it something that I really don't care if I bring a bunch of extra stuff? So there's a lot of variances um, with my Diddy bag. But anyway, what I wanted to do today was uh, just do an updated video and just kind of show you what I typically carry in my bag now. I do apologize in my last video, I had my lovely assistant, Emily, which uh, as some may know is my daughter, to assist me with making the video. Um, at the moment, she is at school, so she will not be able to help me on this video. So anyway, uh, without continuing on and just rambling, I'll just go ahead and get started. And first thing, I'll just go ahead and show is the weight of everything rather than just weighing everything separate. Um, I have separate weights on lots of uh, different gear spreadsheets and stuff that I have, so if you're interested, you can find those in some of my spreadsheets. So this is everything that I would typically carry, and uh, you can see that it comes in at 7.6 ounces for the whole thing. So right off the bat, you can see there, I've went from a pound to just under half a pound. So I um, made a lot of changes. Um, first off, the actual bag that it's in, this is the z packs and I cannot remember anymore. It's probably the small mini or, or the mini or something like that. It's one of the smallest actual stuff sacks that they have without actually, you know, being the wallet or whatever. Um, but anyway, as you can see, it's a good size for uh, what I'm using it for. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and open it up and show you. And uh, first off, I just want to pull this out. This is actually a uh, battery camera that goes to my battery that I'm using right at this moment. Um, typically, I carry an extra battery with me, especially with this camera that I have. I'm really not impressed at all with this camera because it's, uh, it's let me down in a lot of aspects. So I'm going to have to replace this camera. But anyway, I typically carry an extra battery with me, and that's the battery there. Um, also... I typically carry an ace bandage, and this is a two inch ace bandage. Uh, it's not a whole lot, it's not real big, it's not a four inch or anything like that. But uh, in case I sprain my ankle or something like that, at least I can wrap it up with this. Uh, or there may be other things that I could use it for. Uh, but anyway, I have a two inch ace that I always carry with me. And some of you may remember this from a previous video on uh, what's in my pockets. Um, on this last trip I went with, uh, or I went on, I ended up carrying this actually inside my Diddy bag rather than in my pockets. But I do like having this close to where I can get to it often if I need it. And all it is is just a small Ziploc bag. And I have some uh, Germex and a larger bottle because I like to bring plenty of Germex. So that's one of those things that can vary. You know, right now the bottle's only just under half full. So if I was to put a little more in there, it would be a little extra weight there. Uh, some chapstick, Carmex, I like Carmex better than the other stuff. A little bottle of bleach, and a little bottle of Dr. Bronner's. And uh, I've used this, these two bottles I've had for quite a while. I should probably actually change out the bleach in the bleach bottle because it doesn't stay good forever. But, uh, but anyway, that's typically what I have for my kind of uh, cleaning accessories, I guess you could call it. Um, but that's what I have there. And uh, just go ahead and empty out the rest of it. I have, that's just the stuff sack there. And then the way I've started doing it recently is I have two of the three by five lock sacks. And pretty much what I have is some first, mostly this is first aid items, 
uh, and I'll take all this out in just a second. And I do have a, a repair patch for my Neo Air in there. And then the other bag I have just miscellaneous kind of repair stuff. Um, and then I have Mini Bic and I have some fire starter stuff and uh, extra battery for my headlamp. I also always carry an extra battery for my headlamp. Um, so that stuff is in there. And also, uh, typically this extra battery will be in here to help keep it from getting wet in case it rained. But uh, just for this video, I just had to go and track down this battery and throw it in there. So since I got this one in my hand, I'll go ahead and open it and start off with this one. Now I will say this lock sack, you can see it's got a hole in it right there. This lock sack actually came with uh, one of my wet fire stoves. Um, and I figured rather than just throw the lock sack away, I would just make some good use out of it. So um, they happened to, they messed this up. They put that hole right there on the actual lock. So it's not 100% waterproof, but uh, considering that it pretty much locks up the whole way, um, and even if a little bit of water gets in there, it's going to be okay. So, uh, anyway. So the first thing I have is, uh, this is just some duct tape, and it's probably old as far because I've never used it. But I just took a piece of cardboard and rolled out a couple of uh, feet of duct tape and stuck it on there. Um, some fire starting. This is actually uh, some of the REI, um, I can't remember what they're called now how long it's been since I've even had to use them. Um, but anyway, there's some of the uh, weatherproof matches or whatever. Uh, these are great matches. You can light these things and stick them underwater, pull them right back out, and they'll still be burning. So they're pretty cool. And I have an extra striker, and that extra striker can be used for uh, different matches and stuff if I have them. But I keep those in a uh, little small Ziploc bag, just kind of keep them dry. I have some crazy glue. Never know what you might need that for, and I do keep that in a small Ziploc just in case it was to come open while inside my pack. That way I wouldn't go to open this thing and everything would be glued together inside there. Uh, but that's just a little bitty single serving size uh, crazy glue. And I actually just started carrying that not too long ago. And then I just have the L91 Energizer Ultimate Lithium Battery. And like I said, my Zebralite H51 uses these. And uh, these batteries last a long time in that light. I'm really happy with that. And they only weigh half an ounce, so that's awesome. Um, Mini Bic, bright orange. Well, I won't lose it. This is actually just uh, my little sewing kit. I've got about 10 strands of silk thread in there. I've got a uh, safety pin in there, and then I have a couple of, uh, well, I have a couple of safety pins in there, actually. And then I have just a couple of straight pins. Uh, straight needles with the uh, eyes in them so I can actually sew if I need to. Uh, this is just a strip of uh, 0.34 or it's the Cuban fiber tape that Joe sells on uh, Z-Packs and uh, I get him to uh, use the 0.34 ounce per square yard Cuban fiber uh, instead of the 0.51 and I also get him to use the white color rather than the green color just so it'll kind of match. And I have a lot of Cuban fiber products in my backpack so this is uh, well worth carrying. Um, this little bit here rather than just completely relying on the duct tape Then I have a uh, just a mini carabiner. Uh, this one actually came from z-packs. It looks like um, Just some little small zip ties here That'd be good for uh, Help, you know put something back together or something. No, you know, no tell them what you might need. I have four of those Um this is the Little Red Rain for my Gossamer Gear LT4 trekking pole. I could probably do it without carrying this on every trip, but I mean, it's it's nothing. I don't mind carrying it. And then the last thing inside is an extra SD card that I carry because uh, I try to shoot all my videos in HD and that eats up a lot of space, so I usually carry an extra SD card just in case I need it. And uh, then, like I said, that's just an empty lock sack. You can see the if you can read that, my um, wet fire stove cave in that. So, and then the second lock sack is gonna be more of my first aid type stuff. And open it. First thing, vitamin I. Uh, there's 16 in there, and I usually carry at least a thousand per day. Um, so, just depending on how long my trip, depending on how many is in there. Generic. Tylenol PM. I recently just started carrying this on my trips and I uh, used some on my last trip and it works pretty good for just a couple of hours. But uh, 
And I carry those now in these small Ziplocs. I used to use some hard-sided containers and I like them, but uh, I just stopped using them. I've got a couple of Pepto-Bismol. Um, these are some earplugs that Jara from Light Trail sent me. Got those there. Um, Neutralox, antacid, or uh, um, basically it's antacid tablets that I got from REI. I got like a pack of 10 for I don't know how much. Um, this is just uh, some generic sleep aid is what they call it, but it's 50 milligrams dipping hydramine. So it's basically Benadryl. And then, just kind of pull the rest of that out. I got just my lock stack there. And this one does seal all the way. They didn't mess that up. Okay. And then here I have various size band-aids. There's some small ones there. Um, here's a, a bigger one, big band-aid. Um, and then I have three waterproof band-aids. I have some alcohol pads, which work for cleaning up, uh, you know, wounds. Or if I need to put some moleskin on, which thankfully I haven't had to ever use moleskin, but I can clean up that. And also they make uh, fire starters if you need them. And then this is just the patch uh, for my NeoAir just in case I need that. And then I'd have one of the single serving packs of the triple antibiotic ointment. And that's pretty much it. Um, there may be a few other things that uh, I could add to it. I'm not really sure. But so far this has worked out well for me. And uh, this is basically what I carry in my uh, ditty bag. It's just all this stuff here. So uh, let me know what you think. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to post them below. And I'll do my best to answer those questions or get back to you with the comments. And if, you, uh, if you'd like, feel free to share what, uh, if you want to post a video, uh, you know, a response or something, and show me what you carry in your ditty bag. Be interesting to see. Uh, until then, though, I appreciate you watching, reading, and I'll see you later. Bye.